Hello and welcome from Natalie, your favorite keto coach, here to do another chat with Nat. Today we're going to be doing something that is a staple for people who follow keto and that is chicken broth. Chicken broth is a wonderful thing to have on hand when you deciding to maybe um, to try intermittent fasting or you just feel bloated and you just want a day of no crazy heavy foods just to let your stomach settle which does sometimes happen we do sometimes overindulge we do sometimes feel we need to take things easy or you might be doing an intermittent fasting and when i do that that's what i have during the day then is chicken broth a very very simple simple meal to put together which i'm going to show you now have all your vegetables checked have the chicken pieces ready have everything ready so when you get started check check it's all done first of all we have parsley which i love to add to food it's got so many good nutrients in it and it just adds extra flavor to the food garlic which is as you know also very very health giving it just gives an extra kick to the soup bay leaves and celery so what we're going to do is chop them all up first you can of course buy ready chopped um, vegetables it's up to you to, to see what you want to do just make sure when you do them yourself that you've really washed and cleaned the celery and the parsley well before you get started already chopped pop it into the hot tr the slow cooker I like to use a slow cooker, I put it in, I leave it, cooks by itself, I can go to work in the morning, come back in the evening and it's all ready. Or you could do it the night before and have it the next day when you're ready to start doing your intermittent fasting, your soup is ready for you. And I like to make a big pot. So what I do is I make enough for the day and then I decant it into containers and put them in the freezer. So you have for the day, you have the whole, for the week or however long you want it for, you have them ready for you and you just take them out, warm them up and there you are, your chicken soup, your chicken broth is ready. If you only want chicken broth, I use, I get from my butchery, I get chicken carcasses. Add those to the pot, make sure that they're well cleaned and look good, pop them in. Then, interestingly enough, I don't know if you ever thought about it, but have you ever heard of putting apple cider vinegar into your soup? It helps draw all the nutrients from the bones. Here we are. And then we have mixed herbs, two teaspoons sea salt, apple, uh, apple cider vinegar we put in already, black peppercorns, mixed herbs. Sprinkle that on. If, you, if, if you're not doing keto, if you're doing banting, low carb, whatever it is, not extremely strict, you can add onions, you can add carrots, you can basically add anything that you want to add the extra flavor to it. So now we've got the vegetables in the pot and the chicken. The next thing we do is make sure we add water to cover. There we are. Put on the lid and ready to go. Put it on. I like to put it on auto so that makes it go hot and then cooler and it just keeps the chicken broth going the whole day and it's amazing. If you prefer to use a whole chicken, do it with a whole chicken and include the skin. And when it's finished, take out the chicken pieces, keep the bones in the soup. I like to keep it on if I'm doing a, a few day uh, intermittent fasting I like I just add keep adding water and it keeps it, the nutrients going and it keeps you full and it's amazing then you put that extra chicken and the vegetables aside and you can make a delicious meal thereafter so once it's all done here we have it the bowl of chicken soup chicken broth ready to eat so enjoy it let me know how you feel about it, if you've tried it, or how you, if you've changed the, the recipe somewhat, whatever you've done, let me know. I'd love to hear and share in your successes. Until next week, bye.